<clears throat> okay? It's a little bit cramped in here, isn't it? Oh, well, <laughs> we would be happy to have this meeting in your office, Ashley, but you have a strict no chairs policy. That's right. Yeah, and I'm a male on this one. I'm a big well, fan I'm of chairs. Pro chairs. think that the, <laughs> the boss girl would have a bigger office, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Nothing more, but nothing less. Should we go to hers? No, no. Then why don't we just start the meeting? That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, so like Ricky told you, okay, we're going to slow play the whole win over the entire city thing, but that doesn't mean we can't get started, all right? Okay. Since the narrative is a media invention, we think that steering the narrative through savvy use of the media should be our top priority. I mean, that makes per- perfect sense. Absolutely. What's the plan? We have a three-prong attack. Three. Prong one, Lozo the Crown. Yep. Excuse me? Lozo the Crown. A government name, Lorenzo Alexander, okay? He is by far the most influential fan of the team on Twitter. By far. And he is solidly, tragically, hashtag team chef all the way. Who's that? Yeah. He works at a corner store not too far from here. What? Uh, What's that you said face? a corner store. Yep. <laughs> you What's wrong cor- with the corner store? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Don't start thinking that you're better than people because you can put a ball in a hole. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You got it. Um, I know I'm right. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to walk over to the corner store, introduce yourself, talk to him, hit him with that MP charm that we all know and love. Yeah, Somewhere yeah. in there. And pretty soon he's going to be singing your praises on social media. Yep. Okay, so uh, what are the other prongs? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Prong number two. Mm-hmm. I've gotten in with uh, Jake Duvall. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> For real? Yes. Let's and go. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like... That is so tough. He's like the OG around here, he's man. He's the last real movie star. He's, you know, the unofficial team mascot or whatever. Whatever. Ooh, Let's he's ooh. awesome. Rain it in a little bit, okay? I pulled some strings. I got a meeting for the two of you to get together. We're going to see if he can boost your cred with the fan base. Ash, let's bit. go, man. I'm a huge fan. Okay. I Calm down. Right? Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Sorry. Got a little hype. Okay. Let's see that. Uh, third prong. Third prong. We set up a puff piece interview for you with someone who can just throw you a lot of softballs. Yeah, we're still setting it up, but it should be a piece of cake, something you can do in your sleep. Okay. No big deal. Meantime, go introduce yourself to Lozo the Crown. Yes. At the corner store, right? At the corner store. You got it. I can do that. <laughs> Look, oh my God. this guy's got an enormous <sighs> fan base, and his engagement is through the roof. So, yeah. He's also got an 80% likability rating with people who identify as city fans yeah. online. So, laugh all you want, but getting Lorenzo on your side is the only way you're going to deal with that problem with Shep you got. Okay, okay, all right, I, I hear you. Yeah. I will go see Lozo at the uh, at the corner store. Um, you guys want anything? Want some batteries, <laughs> gum, Snickers? <laughs> okay, water. just bring back that beautiful smile when you come back, and we can talk about next steps. Now that I can do. Good. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah. What? Hey, what's up, brother? Um, by any chance, do you have any more Glacier Freeze in the back? Uh, I don't see any in the fridge out here. For who? For me, bro. I'm right here in front of you, man. Yeah, I think we all out. <laughs> so if Shep would say you're selling one? Nah, Shep's my boy. His money's no good here. Your money's also no good here, but for, like, the opposite reason. Well, I didn't know y'all two were, like, that close. I never seen you two together. Yeah, that's my mans. We, like, follow each other on social and everything. I'm Lozo the Crown. I'm sure you've seen me. Lozo the Crown. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some yeah, of your posts. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. And right. Shep's retweeted me a bunch, too, so we good. Okay, cool. So if I retweet you, could I just get the Gatorade? Nah, bro. I don't want your weak game anywhere near my account. My weak game? Yeah. In fact, <laughs> in fact, where you at? As of right now, you blocked. Oh, come on, bro. You know there's more than basketball. There's just a 40-inch vert, right? You know what's wrong with you? You got no backbone. You let people walk all over you. Bro, I just want the Gatorade. That's it. I'm not talking about me right now, bro. You see what Perk said about you? Yeah, he always talks trash. That's what I'm saying, bro. He says you're useless, and what do you do? Nothing. He says you have no upside, and what do you do? Nothing. The man says you're lukewarm garbage, and what do you do? No, no, I got it. Nothing. So you see what I'm saying then? But I don't remember him saying I'm lukewarm garbage, by the way. Oh, he said it. Look, this from this morning. I know I said MP was hot garbage, but I can admit I was wrong. This man, not even hot. He's lukewarm garbage. Same stank, less heat. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, I'm not going to round myself up over one man's opinions about me. 
That's not what I'm gonna do. Look, bro, you can do whatever you want to do. But you want to know why we don't rep you? Why? That's why. You think Shep will let that stand? I mean, Shep's gonna just talk. Nothing wrong with talking if you can back it up, bro. But you know what? I don't think you can get it, because you're not one of us. You never will be. Okay. You going the wrong way? It's the fridge. You know what? What? You're gonna sell me that Gatorade one day. I promise you that. Uh, I don't think so. I just got clowned by your boy Lorenzo. Wait, what? What? What happened? Yeah. He refused to sell me a Gatorade because I wasn't Shep. And he called me a cow without a backbone. Whoa. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. He's not wrong. What? You serious right now? <laughs> In a manner of speaking. Would you like to explain what you mean by that? Look, <laughs> we all know that MP's not actually a coward, okay? But yeah. he is under an intense amount of scrutiny on social media. Yeah. And when it comes to succeeding in the social game, Lozo the Crown knows more than most. Oh. MBAs mean very little in this space. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> if Lozo the Crown calls MP a coward, it doesn't mean that it's true, but it, it is an accurate reflection of how he's being perceived currently on social media. By one person. Okay, hold on. Let's just calm down and take a step back. Hold on, I, I don't want to be calm right now. That's the problem. My man disrespected me to my face and I took it. For what? A few followers? Okay, forget about Lozo the Crown, alright? It was a good idea to speak with him, but it's clear that he's not actually going to be helpful to us, so oh. let's find someone else to work with. Any ideas? Mm, I disagree. What? And I'll take it one step farther. I, uh, you know what? I'm glad he did what he did. <laughs> Are you? What? It lit a fire under you. Now, we need to respond. No, okay? you don't need to respond You to send a few shots over Perk's way, and you show this Lorenzo kid what kind of a man you are. Yeah, show him that you're a little baby that can't take criticism. Or a man who fights. He fights on the court, Ashley. No, 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 he plays on the court. Okay, and he lives in the oh, city, and we're trying to win mm -hmm. in both areas. Mm-hmm, not in this way. What are we doing here? I don't know, I guess we're trying to take the low road, is that what we're trying to do? We all agreed that we wanted to win over people like Lorenzo. Mm-hmm, people like the him. The skeptics, the haters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the whole point. No, this is true. No, no, Mila, you weren't even there. I know I wasn't there. No, 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 I looked him in his face. I can't win these people over at the same time, like, lay down? Mm-hmm, great. No, telling you so to lay down. So we hit back, okay? You tell Perk that you you don't take criticism from washed up crusty old men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds like exactly that. Mm -hmm. like Shep. Well, people love Shep. Yeah. Some okay. people. Oh, he's gosh. not Shep. Once again, for those of you who are having trouble understanding this, that is the entire problem we're trying to solve here today. All right. Right? Thank you, Ashley. I get it. Okay, You're very well. Wait, wait. Maybe there's a middle ground. You know, we could we could say something like we understand that he has content to put out, mm -hmm. but yeah. you don't care about the opinions of someone that's not in the locker room. You know, it's Great. more mature. Fine. No, 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 no. I but, like but, that. no, no, no. But I do care about the people that's not in the locker room. Good. Yeah. I care about the entire city. You fam. want people to know that? Yes, okay. Well, at least this wouldn't make you sound petty. No one doesn't make you sound like a fighter. Well, I was either, just trying to does help. It? Ashley wants you to sound like a spoiled brat. Wow. So if that's the road you want to take, please be my guest. <laughs> at least I won't let him sound weak. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's enough. Y'all are here for a reason. And believe it or not, this is what I want. This right here. All these different opinions and options before I make a decision. Before I, MP, make a decision. This is my call. Mm hmm And I'm gonna do what feels right. So what you wanna do, big man? You know what? I like what you said about Perk needing to crank out content. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm gonna say to that? I don't care what my game looks like to him. All I'm worried about is helping my teammates win. And that's it. You know what, I love it. it Type it, hit send. Come on. It's your call. It's done. Great. Done. All right. Good.
Great. One last thing while I still have your attention. Shep has a much bigger online presence than you do, so we need to amplify this newfound discovery of a backbone. <laughs> Next game, you do something highlight worthy, okay? Anything. And then post about it. Maybe with a little Shep shade thrown in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That like. does not sound like me at all. But it should. But it doesn't. Okay, if you want to back up that tweet you just sent, just go out there and be yourself. Lead your teammates, get the win. That's it. It's That's fine it. by me as long as he posts about it afterwards. Whatever. I do, I can do that. All right then. You know, I really gotta say, I'm loving this whole team of rivals thing we got going on. <laughs> nice work today and love the passion. Good work. Post about it. I got you. Yeah. I'm P, glad you're here. What'd you need, coach? Uh, I've just been thinking about what I'd like to see you working on over the next few games. Doris, the analytics would tell you that you should take shots at the rim or from beyond the arc, but we still see... So both teams making some changes here. So the Jazz Five right now. They've got Rudy Gay. MP is out there with Colin Sexton. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. Porter shot is off. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Gay, a screen on Porter. Here's MP. Good D by Shangoon. The Rockets have got seven of 15 to find the net. Outside Porter. To the paint. Let's it go from 11. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. He kicks it out to MP. On the wing, Sexton. Just five to shoot. Back to MP. Here's Christopher, checked by Sexton. Takes the three, doesn't go for him. Utah has gone two for four from range to start things off. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. And the ball out of play, the Rockets will have it. Listen, turn over, you've got to move on to the next play. Tate's checked in for Shangun. Houston in the lead. Here's Porter. Five points in the game. And that one good. Porter's got seven points. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. Smith outside. Pass to Tate. Back to Smith. Rebounded by the Jazz. Here's Abaji. Well, he hasn't put up any... Count that one. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. 26 seconds left in the first quarter here. And here's Porter outside. Rebounded by Gay. Utah trailing here. On the wing, MP. He's guarded by Porter. MP outside. Pass to Horton Tucker. Let's go with a three. Unable to get that one. The scoring is fast and furious as we end the first.
just joined. Houston has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. So the Utah Five right now. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Laurie Markkinen. Then there's Colin Sexton. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, And it's MP in at the point guard position. The front office got a lot of blowback when they made MP their first round pick. Most of the fans had their eyes set on Shep Owens. I know it was a tough decision. As a GM, you don't want to alienate your fan base. But at the same time, you have to do what you think is best for the club in the long term. Christopher's shot is good. They're making a few more threes this quarter, trying to cut into that deficit. Outside Sexton. Here's MP. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. And the Jazz lead by five. And they've really been more consistent from the field this quarter. And how about what Colin Sexton brings to the table, Doris? Yeah, when you think about this young guy, he still can be an offensive force. Plays the guard position with a big-time chip on his shoulder due to his size. This guy is always up for a challenge. And if he throws it down. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Shengun with it, picked up by Markkinen. It's Christopher on the wing. No good from outside. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Pass to Sexton. Jacks up a three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Ooh, they've been on fire from deep this quarter. Their percentage has been rising and rising. Quarter against MP. Martin outside. Shangun, a screen on Clarkson. Clock at four. One's off. Still out of sync. Up ahead. And it's Sexton. That time on the assist by MP. MP's got three assists now in this one. Here's Porter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Porter's got nine points. Markkinen sets a screen. On the wing, Clarkson. Utah scoring again. There's only so much you can take away, and you want to try to stop Jordan Clarkson on the drive so he gets the face-up jumper to go. And so it's the Utah Jazz going in. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action... And looking at the Trailblazers matchup, that one is going to show them... And now switching gears to our featured game, a phenomenal first... That's it for us. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Wow, Colin Sexton, this... Still some game left to play. The clock isn't on your side. The Jazz have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. We've got Willie Cauley-Stein, Jayshon Tate out there with Green, and it's Karuba in at the 5. That's the 5 for Houston right now. Doris, it's been interesting to watch Utah's transformation into an offensive force. What's fascinating about it, B.A., is there was a time where the Jazz was one of the best defensive teams in the league, and that defense led to winning. Then they transitioned from a team that went into the three-point revolution wholeheartedly, bought in completely to the pace and space and the need to be able to shoot the three well. And listen, they had a ton of success, but they never could get over the hump in the playoffs. In for the Jazz, Kessler. 
There's a minute 17 left in the third quarter. Pass to Green. Let's the three fly. And he can't get that one. And it's Utah the other way. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Here's Abaji. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. With the Rockets making a switch here. Porter Jr.'s checked in. And Utah with a change here, too. Marketing's checked in. Forty-one seconds left in the third quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. Fades and shoots. That went off the back iron and out. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. And that one's good. Green. And I love it. Challenging the bigger defender is showing plenty of heart. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. And here's MP. He got it off in time. And so it's Utah liking their chances. And one. And Green is subbed in for Porter Jr. Kicks it out to MP. Defended by Shangun. Back to MP. To the middle. Good D by Shangun. The Rockets trail. So the Utah Five right now. MP is out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then it's Lori Marketing. Then it's Kelly Olenek. Smith finds Tate. The shot misses. Some solid defense from Marketing. Utah has gone four of nine from three point range in the fourth. MP shot is off. Houston shooting the ball at 46% from the floor. Inside, here's Shangun. Yes! There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. 58 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Clarkson, left side. And it's in. Jordan Clarkson unafraid of the... There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Martin, he's checked in for Houston. Porter Jr. comes in for Tate. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, here's the summary of what Steven Silas went over with his team during the break. As we head down the stretch, he said to his team, quote, we can win this. I believe in you guys, but we have to make some plays because we know they're going to. Back to you. And Allie, thank you for that. Expect them to take their time this trip down. Yeah, B.A., the clock is theirs to burn. Pass to Clarkson. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he buries it. <laughs> they have it. The Rockets call. Good job continuing to execute. Shangun finds Green. Fader on the way. Rebound by Olenek. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. 
We've got three. He drops the first one, and that increases the lead to six. And he's unable to get the second one. Pass to Shangun. Green for three. The shot, no good. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. So we see the Jazz get the win here. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.